Hi guys, Colleen from Walking the Resonant Path here. I just wanted to talk to you today about the Norse goddess Ithu. Now, you might know her as Iden, I-D-U-N-N or I-D-U-N, but we say Ithun, you say whatever you want. Okay, well, I'm just going to put this Book of Shadows down because it's my big Book of Shadows and I'll keep talking to you about the Norse goddess Ithun. Now, Ethan was the guardian of the golden apple orchard in Asgard. And she was the only one that could dole out the apples to the gods. And what these golden apples did was that they kept the gods um, alive forever and they kept them young and beautiful. But she was the only one that could do that. Now, in her main myth, uh, you might think it's not about her because at first we talk about other gods. But she does come into the myth, so hang on until the end, until you know how she comes into the myth. So anyway, in her main myth, three of the gods named um, the, the father god Odin, and also the trickster Loki, and also Hynir, um, they all decided that they would go on a little journey to Midgard, right? So that's Earth, for those who don't know what Midgard is. And Asgard is the realm of the gods, for those who don't know that. But anyway... They, got, they went from Asgard and on a journey into Midgard and they travelled through the vast deserts to get there and as they were travelling through the vast deserts they thought, jeez man, I'm getting really, really hungry, what can we find to eat? So they looked around and they hunted an oxen and, and so they hunted some oxen and they got this ox and they decided, yep, we're going to build a fire now and cook this ox. So they did that and they tried to cook this ox and they had this raging fire and they couldn't understand why this ox was not cooking and they're going why isn't this ox cooking what is going on the fire is raging it should be cooking so then they thought hmm there's something fishy going on here so they had a look around and they saw this big eagle watching over them perched in the tree and they went no that's no eagle that is uh, some magic being so they went up to this eagle and the eagle knew that it was caught and suspected so it came down and said okay i admit it i am the uh storm giant Theaz theazars uh, or the sorry about this theazars i think you say and um anyway the storm giant said um you know and i have enchanted that flame so it won't cook your meat they were like come on dude we're hungry Look, Storm Giant, you know, unenchant the flame. And he said, look, I'll unenchant the flame and allow the meat to cook, the Storm Giant said. But um, you have to give me as much of that meat as I want to eat. So the three gods discussed it and they, they all agreed. And they said, okay, we'll give you as much of that meat as you want to eat. So they gave the store, so the meat cooked. And just as they were about to give the Storm Giant some of the meat to eat, Loki, who was a trickster god, grabbed most of the meat and gobbled it up. And so this obviously angered the storm giant. He was furious, he is us. And he was like, how dare you, Loki, do that? And so he grabbed Loki by his talons and he dragged Loki across all these jagged mountains and rocks and really injuring Loki and hurting him. And so Loki was begging him, saying, please let me go, please let me go. And he's saying, I'll tell you what, Loki, I will let you go, but you have to do something for me. And what you have to do is you have to lure Ethan out of her apple orchard and away from those apples and, you know, get her to come out. And then so I can have some apples and I can live forever. And also I can have her because she's the only one that can give the apples and the gods can't have any apples. And so Loki said, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. But just let me go. So he let Loki go and Loki went back to Asgard. Now... The love of uh, Ethun's life was Bragi, the god of poetry but, and music, but sometimes he went off on little journeys to play his music around the place and go on a little journey. And so one day he was on one of his little journeys and Loki heard this and knew that Ethun was alone. So he went to her golden apple orchard and told her that there were some fantastic apples that were just like hers down out of Asgard down the road and that they were more powerful than hers and she should come and see them. And she didn't believe him. She goes, yes, I definitely have to see this for myself. If there are apples like mine, I need to see this. So then she went out of her apple orchard and out of Asgard. 
so then just when she was out, um, the storm giant had been watching and in the form of an eagle, he came down and snatched up Ithu and took her away into the mountains. Now, um, because of this, uh, Ithu could not give out the golden apples. So all the gods aged, were aging and dying. And they were in a panic and they were going, what the heck's going on? And at the same time, Ethan was, Ethan was so sad because she was away from her most beloved Bragikatulong and her most beloved apple orchard. And she knew that the gods would be dying. So she was very sad and, and depressed. And um, all the gods like then found out that Loki had done this. And so they called up, Oda called up Loki and said, hey, you know, we all, including you, are dying because we don't have Ethan to give out those apples. So you better go and find her. And Loki knew how angry the god was, all the gods and goddesses were. And he also knew that he wouldn't get young and beautiful again unless he went back and got Ethan from the giant. So then he turned himself into a falcon and he searched the land and he eventually found Ethan. And then he landed and he turned her into a nut. Some say that he turned her into a little swallow bird, but most say he turned her into a little nut. And he picked her up and he flew away and brought her back to Asgard. But as um, he was getting near Asgard, the giant came along um, in the form of an eagle and chased him. He was worried that he wouldn't get back to Asgard, but the other gods and goddesses were prepared for this. And they had all this kindling and they like lit this big fire as the storm giant flew over and all the smoke got in the storm giant's eyes and he fell to the ground and then the gods and goddesses killed him so that he wouldn't be able to steal Ethun again and steal their beauty and youth and longevity again. So, um, but then to not anger the other front of the storm giants, what they did was in honour of Theazars, they took one of his eyes and put it in the heavens as a constellation as to say we honour and respect him but we can't have him stealing Ethun so we had to kill him and you know that that was just what we had to do. But anyway, she, um, Ethan came back, gave the gods back some of the golden apples and they became young and strong again. Now Ethun is considered a personification of spring and also the changing of the seasons because it is said that when she was um, kidnapped, she was, um, that, that's when autumn comes. And then when she was sad and depressed because she was away from Bragi and her orchard, that is when winter comes. And then when Loki rescues her and brings her back to Asgard and she gives the gods the apples again and the gods are starting to get strong again, that is the renewal of spring. And then when the gods are back at their full strength, then summer comes in all its glory. So that's the story of Ethun. Now, um, Ethun's colours are gold, red and green. Her incenses are, like you can get an apple blossom incense or any sort of apple or fruity type incense or wood incenses like cedar or um, sandalwood, pine, things like that. Uh, also any sort of aniseed or licorice scents are said to be scents for Ethun. Okay, um, also, what else have I got? Uh, as I said, she's the goddess of spring, the goddess of renewal, the goddess of rebirth, of working with the life, death, rebirth cycle. She's goddess of youth and beauty and agriculture, of vitality. She's also connected with the runes because in another myth it was said that she actually, what happened, actually happened was she fell from the tree of Stressel, which is the tree of life in Norse mythology, and she fell down into um, hell, and she was cold and she lay there frozen and then she, when spring what happened is uh, another Perth god found her and wrapped her in a wolf blanket a white wolf blanket and she became warm and as she warmed up then spring came again so that's another myth so like her animal is a wolf her birds are is sparrow and a barred owl um she is also the goddess of abundance growth fertility longevity as i said youth beauty and the runes because of her association with Yggdrasil and also strength and self-empowerment because even though she didn't rescue herself she did refuse to give the giant any apples when he begged for them she said no, no, no apples are not for you just for the gods um the incenses oh, I've already been through incenses but I also I forgot to say to use frankincense as well 
Um, the trees, of course, apple trees and all fruit trees and any orchards, if you can be in an orchard, then that's definitely connecting with um, Ethu. Uh, also, uh, Dresel obviously is one of her trees, ash tree and a rowan tree. Uh, objects are apples and fruits. Uh, the, the rune Wunjo, um, others say the rune Gibu, but I say the rune Wunjo, and that I've got Wunjo on my altar. Um, also, any sort of wooden things like wooden boxes or any wooden items that you made, any nuts or spring flowers or baskets, because it said that she carried her golden apples in a basket and handed them out. Um, magic you can do uh, like Spells using apples, rites using apples, abundance spells, fertility spells, love spells, of course, rune readings, working with the life, death, rebirth cycle, healing magic, healing spells, animal message from messages from the swallow, the wolf, the owl, the barred owl especially, um, strength and courage spells, self-empowerment work and journaling. Uh, flowers are spring flowers, like... Um, as I said, any apple blossoms, fruit tree blossoms. Foods are apple, fruit, cider, or fruit, cider, nuts. Um, as I said, her consort was braggy and her herbs was rosemary. Her crystals are, you can use like carnelian and uh, red jasper for strength. You can use things like jade for abundance. Uh, you can use any stone that you um, associate with renewal. And what else? Uh, activities you can do. You can go picking in an apple orchard. You can go fruit picking. You can make apple candle holders. You can make wreaths that are decorated with dried apples. Uh, as I said, any, anything to do with apples or fruit, baking with apples or fruit today would be really good. Um, and also, uh, any another crystal I want to say you could use is obviously gold. Gold is her main crystal or anything like gold, like pyrite. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the Norse goddess um, of the guardian of the golden apples, Ethu, and I will show you my altar and a close look at my book of shadows in another video. I hope you have a lovely day and do whatever resonates within your soul. Bye now.